Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to use Paste in Place and add it to our shortcuts. Not only can we use Paste to essentially copy and paste markups, for example, I can go to this markup here, right-click on top of it, copy, and then eventually paste it wherever I want. We can also paste markups in the exact same location that they're found on a sheet. So I'm going to do that with this markup right here. I'm going to select it, right click, and copy. Now, this is my custom profile, and I've already added paste in place to the top of my screen. You'll see that we have paste right here, and to the right of it, we have paste in place. The keyboard shortcut is Control Shift, and then just tap the V key. So you'll want to hold Control and Shift at the exact same time. Then, instead of using it through a keyboard shortcut and memorizing that, if you prefer to use your shortcuts at the top of the screen, I'm going to show you how we add it there. So I'm going to go to the Review dropdown, Mouse Over Profiles, and then I'm going to select the Review Advanced Profile, which typically looks very similar to what you see right here, especially at the top of the screen. Although what I've done is I've actually turned on certain tools that I recommend that everybody uses. So I went to the Tools dropdown, Mouse Over Toolbars, and I turned on these tools here. The only ones that aren't really necessary are Links and Redaction along with digital signature if you're not going to be digitally signing documents, and document management isn't too useful either. But I have space for these tools up here. I have room for two sets of tools up here. So that's why I have them turned on. Now what I am missing is paste in place, and I'm also missing the Save As button. I know that in one of the previous tutorials that I created, I showed you all how to customize your toolbar. What I'm going to do now is show that once again very quickly. We can not only go to Tools and Toolbars and then click on Customize, but if we have an existing group of tools up here, we can right-click next to them and then click on Customize. It's a little bit faster to do it this way. The only issue with doing this is you'll notice that we're missing the three toolbars that were at the top of the other list. So if I go to Tools and mouse over Toolbars, the Status Bar, Navigation Bar, and Properties Bar are only available when we go to the Tools dropdown and mouse over Toolbars. Anyway, we're just going to customize them, so we right-click and we click on Customize. Now, in this dialog, we're going to be adding Paste in Place to one of our toolbars. Typically, what we do is, in the Category section, we switch to a category that mimics one of our toolbars, and it turns out that the Edit category also mimics the Edit toolbar. Categories are groups of different tools that we have available to us in the program itself, but are not necessarily turned on or available to us to use. The toolbars themselves are associated with our profiles and currently show us certain tools or items below them that are actually turned on or off. So right now you can see that I have paste here, but I do not have paste in place. Flatten and snapshot are turned off. So what I did was is I switched to the edit category. The commands have changed completely. And now we have paste in place down here. So we're going to select paste in place. Use the arrow in between to move it to the item section. Select it right here. And then we're just going to move it up just like this with the blue arrows. Now it's right below paste. Now if we wanted to add Save As to our toolbar, we can also do that by clicking on the File toolbar and noticing that Save As is not here. So let's go to the File category. And the commands now reflect what's available in the File category. And we can see that Save As is an option. We're going to move it to the Items list, select it, and then move it up. And that's how we can customize our toolbars, and that's how we get Paste in Place available to us as a shortcut. And it'll be right up here in just a second. Now we're going to click OK. And there it is. We now have Save As right here, and we have Paste in Place. And now I'm going to show you all how to utilize Paste in Place effectively. So we've already copied this markup right here, just in case we'll do it again. So we'll right click and copy. And notice where it's positioned. Its X and Y coordinates are very important. Now, if we go to our thumbnails list, we can see that I have six total pages in this PDF set. The second page is similar to the first one, but it doesn't have any markups, and it's a slightly older floor plan. And the third page is newer. It has a couple of markups in this location right here and here, but we're not going to worry too much about that. What's important is this region on the upper left side where this markup resides on the first page. Because now when we go to the second page, and we basically need to make sure that we click into the page itself. So you'll notice that if I just switch to a page, paste is not available right now. Paste and paste in place are grayed out when you immediately switch to a page. But as soon as you click on the page, you essentially activate the page, and now 
paste and paste and place are available. So let's go to page two first of all, and then click on the screen. Now we're going to use paste and place. And there it is, in the exact same x and y coordinate set. And on page three, we'll do the same thing. And there it is. Now, what happens if we try to do this on a page that is smaller than its original page? So this page right here is a 42 by 30 inch page. We can see the size not only in our navigation bar, but also in our status bar down here in the bottom right. So I'm going to go to page four. And let's see what happens. I'm now going to use paste or place. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut this time. So I'll hold Control, then I'll hold Shift, and then I'm going to tap the V key. Now, because I'm copying a measurement, I do need a scale in order to copy this properly. So I'll just use a scale. I can use 1 8th of an inch equals a foot, which is the same scale as pages 1 through 3. That's fine. We can leave the precision as is for now. And now I'm going to say apply scale. And you'll notice that the markup is all the way over here. Now, how does this work? This is once again proof that at the upper left corner of all of our pages is 0, 0. We can also see this if we look at our coordinates as they move. Basically, as we move our mouse, this coordinates or those uh, numbers on the bottom right side are starting to change. And so that means that on the upper left, we have roughly 0, 0. You can see how close I am when I move my mouse to that location. And that means that this location right around here is at about 12 and 1.96. If we go back to the first page, we can also see that we're at about 12 and 1.9. So it's very, very close. I'm a little bit zoomed out. That's why it's not the exact same coordinate. And of course, I'd have to be pinpoint accurate with, uh, by two decimal places in order to be accurate there. But now you can see that the XY coordinate system matters when it comes to this. Let's test this on one more page. We have this 11 by 8.5 page, which is basically a landscape 8.5 by 11 page. I'm going to do paste in place again. Let's make sure to click and then Control Shift V. There it is. We do need a scale, so I'll just put that in quickly and then click Apply. And there's our markup. A little bit closer this time, but in the exact same XY coordinate system. And so that's how paste in place works. This is how you can get certain assets to be on all of your pages very quickly. Of course, there's other ways to do that. We can go to the batch dropdown, and we can have certain assets appear on certain pages very nicely. So for example, we can do this with uh, stamps. We can do this with headers and footers. When it comes to regular objects, there is no way to just paste everything on all pages very quickly. You'll want to use paste in place and go one by one. But it's much faster and very accurate compared to using paste and adjusting everything one by one. And so this is where Paste in Place really shines, and it's a really, really special kind of tool. Thanks very much for watching our tutorial on using Paste in Place and adding it as part of our shortcuts with Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.